remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? This is bad. Real bad. The Los Angeles Sheriff's Department has opened an investigation after it was reported that deputies leaked photos of the gruesome Kobe Bryant helicopter crash. That crash, as you know, killed Kobe Bryant, his 13-year-old daughter, Gianna, and seven other people. Now, this ain't the first time that the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department has been accused of leaking information on celebrities. Back in 2006, when Mel Gibson was arrested for drunk driving, they leaked some photos of his arrest. And subsequently, an officer was fired. Then in 2009, when Rihanna was beaten by Chris Brown, Photos were also released, in that case, by deputies of the L.A. Sheriff's Department. Why would somebody, you know, you got to be a very, very just a low-down person to do something like that. To leak that type of information. Like, the crazy thing about it is that if it was put out there, I don't know that I wouldn't be compelled to, to see it. The, and as much as Kobe Bryant and Gianna and the people that was on that helicopter was loved, they're going to make a lot of money off the sale of those pictures. Those pictures are going to be worth a lot of money. You know why? Because... There's always some unscrupulous so-called uh, media uh, outlet out there who is willing to buy those pictures and plaster them on their magazine covers and their websites. That is very, very low down. I think that once they find out whoever, first of all, whatever media outlet publishes, publishes those pictures need to be boycotted because that'll stop it. If people in advance say, look, we're going to boycott you if you publish those pictures, that would cause a lot of uh, pause for many of them because at the end of the day, it's all about money. They're all trying to get paid. Whoever leaked those pictures, I'm sure got paid. So this is all about some money. And perhaps they're not putting them out right now at this moment because they know people are really, really fired up right now and they're trying to give it a little time. But those pictures are going to be seen. And whatever media outlet posts them, uh, they need to make, we need to make sure that that media outlet is boycotted and the family needs to really put some information out there about a preemptive uh well they should put a preemptive uh information out there about suing them suing whoever is responsible for the pictures and whoever puts the pictures out uh, this is one way that the public can have some type of control over uh what happens with those pictures Lawsuits, boycotts, in America, you hit somebody in the pockets and it works. That is the way to stop those pictures from coming out. And if they do, that is the way to at least limit uh, further information like that from coming out involving other celebrities or just public figures, period, or anybody, period. Because not all of these cases that are uh, salacious, uh, for lack of a better word, are involve uh, celebrities. You know, sometimes you know the common 
person just have a story that's just so explosive that everybody uh, wants to know. Like they say, inquiring minds want to know. And you know, speaking of the inquiry, the inquirer, man, are they still around? The inquirer, son, uh, TMZ, all of those type of places, man. You know, the ones that got the magazines, especially. I can see it right now on the shelf at the uh, at the at the stores. You know, gruesome picture of Kobe Bryant uh, helicopter crash inside, and those things would sell like hotcakes because. As much as we want to pass ourselves off as civilized, decent, polite people, collectively, we're pretty sick. No more talk. What the talking about?